<laughs> okay, so we'll start. Um, welcome to this 157th prize night. Let's just say that this year has been, well, it's, it's, um, it's just been different. And yet, through many of these differences we experienced together, some things have really remained the same about us, about Tilton School, about this little blue collar school on a hill. These things that have remained the same about us through this, this year. A set of values, academic, you know. Athletic, you know what those are. Artistic, personal, and interpersonal. These things that have remained the same about us through this challenging year, through this year of difference. So much more valuable. They resonate so much more truly to about who we are than whether or not you know can recite the elements of the unit circle or Shylock's Act Three speech in The Merchant of Venice or dictate for Miss Veilleur the, the elements, the, the element, uh, table of elements in chemistry. These things that remain the same about us and have over the years, they're so much more important than that. Tonight, we celebrate a group of students who, along with their support staff, their support staff of, of course, their friends, their teachers, their mentors, their coaches. We celebrate these students and, and their staff, their entourage, who represent an approach to life and learning and work and love that defines the very essence of this great little community. Before we get started, I'd like to acknowledge a person who's made this whole night come together. Joy Jones has put up with my procrastination and has done an exceptional job in a process that began months ago. You won't believe it, but months ago, she solicited input from faculty and teaching faculty and other adults on the staff and took care of all the details that make this the night that it is. So we owe, we owe Mrs. Jones, Joy, our thanks. So please join me in thanking her. <clears throat> Thank you. So tonight, uh, as it has been said before about this night, it's not particularly co complicated. First, as I just mentioned, it's, it's a time to celebrate. Celebrate your classmates for their effort in the academic, artistic, athletic, and community facets of our lives. Second, you need to know if your name is called, so you gotta listen. If it is, please make your way right up here to the front. There will be a person there standing with either a bowl or a book. You grab that thing with your left hand and you shake hands with your right hand, right here, right in front. Margaret, let's just demonstrate. <laughs> no, just give me the camera. I'll just give you the camera. Yeah. So, right hand, right hand. And Margaret's gonna be right there with this camera and you're gonna look at the camera and we're gonna smile. There we go, nicely done, excellent. Let's give Margaret a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. Margaret, thank you for being the, the journalist that's covering this event. Um, yeah, so make sure you look at Margaret and smile, please. Third, as I describe these awards, just please listen. Some of these words truly have been spoken yearly for 157 years. Some of them are written by the institutions that, that support the award, and some of them are pretty new. All of them really reflect who you are. Listen. Finally, let's all share in the joy of accomplishment that we highlight tonight. 
Relish the fact that it has been, for all of us, a complicated, often challenging, but nonetheless, a good year. We still have some things to do. We do. But tonight, under this tent, we participate in a tradition that has been a part of Tilton School since 1864. Enjoy it. I'll now ask Ms. Gad to come up and assist me with some prizes awarded specifically to those folks in the 11th grade. You're all the way over there. Yep. So we will move in this direction as we move up. So right, to, right there at the bottom. The St. Michael's College Award for Academic Achievement with a Social Conscience. Awarded by St. Michael's College of Vermont, this prize is awarded to a student in the junior class who is a member of the National Honor Society and who has exhibited qualities of leadership and service in the school and community. This year, awarded to Sydney Baxter. Congratulations, Sydney. This is the RPI, or Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute Medal. It recognizes and supports the interest in pursuit of engineering and science and technology. This award is awarded to a member of the junior class who has excelled in advanced mathematics and science classes. And this is awarded to Ni nee Heyoung. You know him as Nick Ni. Nee. The, the University of Rochester Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award in the Humanities and Social Sciences. This award recognizes Rochester's two most famous pioneers for social justice, Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony. The award is given to a junior who exemplifies the revolutionary spirit of these two individuals and who demonstrates a commitment to understanding and addressing difficult social issues through academic study, community action, and dialogue. This year, awarded to Sutton A. Ursillo. Uh, the University of Rochester, I just need to take a note about that. Not present. <laughs> okay. Uh, University of Rochester, George Eastman Young Leaders Award. Awarded by the University of Rochester to a junior who has demonstrated strong leadership skills and has earned high grades in challenging academic courses and has experienced a broad range of involvement in extracurricular activities. This year, awarded to Hyler J. Ruggles. And this is the St. Lawrence University Book Award, awarded by St. Lawrence University of New York in recognition of the value that St. Lawrence community places on the service to others. This award honors high school juniors who've worked actively to support others in their school communities. This year, awarded to Hunter M. Perkins. Uh, another one, uh, student who's not present, this is the Wellesley Prize Book presented by Wellesley College, the Alumni Association of New Hampshire to honor a young woman in her junior year, Mrs. Keefe, you cannot sit down, sorry, <laughs> who has made an outstanding contribution to her school in terms of leadership, citizenship, and scholastic achievement, this year awarded to Alyssa M. Moreland. The Smith College Book Award, presented by the Smith College Club of New Hampshire to an outstanding junior who exemplifies academic achievement, leadership qualities, and a concern for others. This year, awarded to Sarah A. Schutte. <laughs> the Harvard Prize Book, annually awarded by the Harvard Club of Boston in the leading secondary schools of the country, to a member of the junior class who best combines excellence in scholarship with achievement in other fields. Awarded to Clem Labillois. <laughs> 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 
The Tommy Merrill Award, awarded by the Athletic Department in, order of to in, in honor of Tommy Merrill, who was an equipment manager from 1939 to 1983, the year Mrs. Landrosh and I decided to come to this campus. <laughs> it's true. To a senior who has contributed to the sports program of the school by competing in interscholastic sports, by working hard for the love of the game, and by showing responsibility toward those persons whose interest and careers are dedicated to helping athletes at Tilton. This year, awarded to Liza M. Field. The Kenneth S. Hollingsworth Prize, awarded by the Athletic Department in honor of Kenneth, Kenneth S. Hollingsworth. This prize goes to that athlete or athletes who have exhibited the highest standard of sportsmanship. This year, awarded to two athletes, Sointu S. Ahola and Aiden Roy. The Chester J. LaRoche Award, awarded in memory of an outstanding graduate of Tilton from the class of 1913, who was a fine athlete here and at Yale University, who had become a successful businessman known for his integrity and who retained active interest in sports with a respect for the, what athletes properly played, athletics properly played and properly coached can do for young people. The terms of this award come directly from the hand of Mr. LaRoche. All of us honor, he writes, in the classroom, the highly intelligent mind. We admire and applaud on the field of amateur sports, the heroes endowed with great physical skill. But even if these dimensions have not been endowed to the full by God's hand, they can be matched by spiritual eagerness. We would honor in you your spirit of cooperation with your teammates your tough, self-imposed standards of excellence and effort, your sacrifices of individual gain and glory for something greater than private success, the victory of the team. All of us are enriched by the presence of these characteristics in you. Our mutual survival depends upon their continued presence in some measure in all of us. This year, awarded to two students, one of whom is not here, that's Jack Gray and the student who is here, I hope, Olivia J. McGuire. <laughs> Fine Arts Prizes. Established by the Arts Club of Tilton in 1966, the Fine Arts Prize is awarded to students who, through steady effort and daring to reach beyond what is already understood, have shown significant creative ability in the studio arts. We have five awards in film. Charlotte Philippi. Okay. It does, their names are on. Uh, in the studio arts, Miss Tasha M. Lima. In ceramics, Mackenzie G. Saunders. In photography, I'm, I'm told by my softball team her name is pronounced Jasmine R. Filter. And in graphic arts, Sarah J. Tebow. The Hazel S. Kaufman Dramatics Prize. Given in memory of Hazel S. Kaufman by her family, this prize is awarded to a graduating senior or seniors who've made sacrifices for the continued benefit of the drama program. This year, awarded to Robin L. Heyman. <laughs> These are the Burnham Prizes in Mathematics. They are awarded to students who've demonstrated outstanding creative problem-solving abilities in the core mathematics program. 
awarded to three students in Algebra 1. Hold your applause. Isaac Carter. In, hold your applause. In Geometry, Maisie Burt. And in Algebra 2, Fletcher O. Waterman. The Burnham Advanced Math Prize is awarded to a student in an advanced mathematics course who demonstrates a superior level of creative problem solving in mathematics and a passion for mathematical analysis and abstract thinking. This year, awarded to Sointu S. Ahola. It awarded by the Tilton School Math Department to the student whose level of achievement and deep understanding of advanced mathematics exceeds that of all other students in the school. This year it is awarded to Yao Yu Yun, or whom we know as Leo Yao. <laughs> These are the Burnham Prizes in Science, awarded to students who excel in science and who demonstrate a strong interest in the application of scientific skill and knowledge to solve real world problems in the global community. In biology, Pear Laetra Duran. In physics, Julia M. Dolpies. And in chemistry, Lee Hung Chung, we know him as Wilson Lee, who is not present. And then we have the Burnham Advanced Science Prize to a student in an advanced level science course who has achieved excellence in science and who demonstrates a strong personal interest and commitment to scientific inquiry as a means of solving problems and promoting the common good. This year, awarded to Clement Labillois. <laughs> and the Dr. Dennis Wong Science Department Prize, in recognition to the contributions and leadership of former Science Department Chair Dr. Dennis Wong. This prize is awarded to a student whose level of achievement and deep understanding of advanced science exceeds that of all other students in the school. This year, awarded to our friend Leo Yao. This is the University of Rochester Bausch & Lomb Honorary Science Award, symbolizing its commitment to discovery, analytic thought, and scientific progress, all good things. The University of Rochester makes this award to a student in the junior class who demonstrates an exceptional promise, exceptional promise in the sciences. This year, awarded to Diana B. Poland. Two prizes from the English department. The English Prize for Critical Insight and Creative Expression. To the student who has consistently demonstrated highly developed analytical clarity and deep critical insight in the study of literature and culture and communication, awarded to Olivia C. D'Amatos. English Department Prize for Improvement to a student in any class whose tenacity and intellectual commitment to the work has led to significant growth as a student of English. This year, awarded to Anae A. Adams. <laughs> this is the John W. Coons Prize given by Dr. John W. Coons, former teacher for excellence in American history and outstanding critical thinking. And this will be sent off to Wilson Lee. I think that's it for you, Mr. And once again, a, for a student who's not here, the APA Award for Excellence in Psychology. The American Psychological Association sponsors a recognition program for high school students who have excelled in the study of psychology at the, at the secondary school level. 
The 2018 Achievement, 2000, no, it's not 2017. The 2021 Academic Achievement Award in Psychology goes to Diana B. Poland. The Jason W. Perkins Prizes, established by the trustees in 1971 in honor of Jason W. Perkins, Tilton teacher from 1946 to 1983. This prize is given, these prizes are given to the student of advanced class whose progress in modern foreign language has been outstanding and who have demonstrated excellence in communication skills and in understanding other cultures and communities through language study. In French, this is awarded to Olivia L. Solera Millet. And in Spanish, another Olivia, Jay McGuire. This is the Donald Robert Dowling Prize, established by Robert A. Dowling in memory of Donald Robert Dowling of the class of 1926. This prize is awarded to the student who leads the freshman class in scholarship for the year, demonstrating excellence in critical thinking, communication, and creativity, working hard on behalf of the community, and always showing good character. This year, awarded to Isaac D. Carter. This is the Frederick M. Eaton Prize, awarded to a student in the graduating class of high scholastic standing and high moral character. This year, awarded to Eliza, Liza M. Field. <clears throat> the Mary E. Chadbourne Prize, supported by a fund bequeathed by Reverend George S. Chadbourne to be awarded to a member of the graduating class each year who, in point of scholarship and general deportment, shall be deemed by the faculty most worthy of it. This year, awarded to Alex J. Ritter. <laughs> the Academic Dean's Prize, this year, it, it, it's awarded to recognize a student who has demonstrated significant academic growth over the course of the year and at the course of their over the course of their Tilton school career transforming what was potential into superior academic achievement this year I'll present it to two two folks Pere Letra Durant and Emily Labrasiano First of these final set of prizes, the Michael E. Baker Award, established by the Plus Five Committee in 1995 in, order, in honor of Headmaster Michael E. Baker. This award is presented to the student who most fully participates in all divisions of, of the Plus Five program by trying new experiences and becoming involved in a variety of opportunities, thus exemplifying in person the passion pursuit of lifelong success and service this year awarded to Mackenzie G. Saunders. The Scott R. Selvin Scholarship Award. Established in memory of Scott Selvin, the son of Robert, a member of the Tilton English Department from 1950 to 1967, who though basically shy, possessed unproved qualities for leadership, was compulsively generous, and unusually kind and thoughtful. His love for Tilton was open and sincere. The award is made to a freshman or sophomore day student who possesses the, these important characteristics of thoughtfulness and kindness, and should be a person who has helped the school by concerned participation in some way other than on the athletic field. And sadly, driver's ed keeps Paige Colburn away. Paige. The Eric Jacobson Memorial Prize, established in memory of Eric Jacobson, class of 74. This prize is awarded to a junior who has shown exceptional versatility 
and spirit in the performance of school activities, has been loyal and encouraging to fellow classmates, and has exhibited an unusual tenacity in pursuit of a goal this year awarded to Gus R. Raymond. The Student Assembly Prize. This prize is, award, is awarded to uh, and to recognize unselfish service in the encouragement of school spirit in a thousand ways. This year, awarded to Kai A. Soar. The William David Kimball Memorial Award. Awarded in memory of William David Kimball, class of 67, who died at the end of his junior year before he could prove his final, his final potential. He tried hard while at Tilton to emerge from youthful mischievousness to creative prowess, to build the best body as well as the best mind. His enthusiasm was so intense that he couldn't see or hear anything without experimenting or perfecting it. This year, awarded to Maximilian J. Pagnini. The Faculty Awards. Awarded to members of the graduating class who in the opinion of the faculty have demonstrated a positive attitude through academic achievement, athletic participation, Admir admirable school spirit, and by doing so have transformed the power of their potential into achievement, service, and success. We have four faculty awards. Alex Alexandria Garsine. <laughs> Kyle P. Rollins. And Tasha M. Lima. <laughs> Next in line, Joshua A. Hansen. <laughs> the Class of 1972 prize awarded to the senior, selected by the senior class officers, who throughout all the pressures and frustrations found contentment and happiness among friends. This senior not only survived, but also endured with a smile and always put friends first, sharing sorrows and joys. This year, awarded to Madison M. Silverman. The Headmaster's Prize, given in honor of Headmaster Robert E. Butler, Headmaster of the school from 1965 to 1969. This prize honors a student who in recognizing and meeting personal responsibilities with determination and perseverance and sincere good spirit, evidenced a strong moral code and deep personal commitment, thereby earning the respect of everyone, students, faculty, and staff. This year, we will send this award to Leo Yao. Class of 1953 prize, awarded to that member of the graduating class at Tilton who, in the judgment of the head of school, has exhibited traits of outstanding character and chutzpah. <laughs> this year, awarded to Cameron A. Shepard. <laughs> the William Harrison Ulfelder Award. Established by the class of 1967 in memory of their classmate, William Harrison Ulfelder. This award is presented to a senior for sportsmanship, congenial concern for fellow students, perseverance in studies, and inspirational courage. This year, awarded to Kai C. Rose. Class of 1965 prize, in honor of Headmaster Herbert B. Moore and Charles Zion, the class of 1965. This prize is awarded to that senior who, in a positive manner in school affairs, 
has, has exhibited consistently a concern for the welfare, the rights, and the needs of others, thus giving evidence of weighing heavily the moral aspects of words and action. This year awarded to Mackenzie G. Saunders. And our last award of the evening, this is the John F. Thompson Memorial Award, established by the New Hampshire State Board of Approved Basketball Officials. This award is to be given to the student who comes nearest to representing the ideals for which Dean John Thompson stood. The characteristics for which he most looked in a student were honesty, fairness, sincerity, as well as, the, as an interest in sports and activities. As between two students of approximately equal accomplishment, John Thompson would favor the student who had to work harder for it. He admired students who could bring out the most that they had in themselves. This year, awarded to Sointu S. Ahola. I'd like to thank all the faculty who helped me this evening, thank you very much. I want to congratulate the, the award winners. <clears throat> and I want to thank, congratulate you all. I, you have you, you been really responsive tonight, really respectful, and it's so clear to me that you, you, you have been the team behind these award winners tonight, and in that way, you all deserve an applause. Let's give each other, let's give a round of applause. Now, underclassmen, get to work. Study for your exams. Seniors, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Okay. Thank you very much. Nice job tonight.